Lewis, this is a five axis machine from Grob, the G350. The first thing I note, it's different to anything else on the market. Why is it different and why is that good? That's correct, Joe. This is our G350 horizontal five axis machine. Uh, the spindle in the horizontal position with the A, B axis with the workpiece. The A axis can have free travel up to 230 degrees. So from zero to minus 45 and zero plus 185, meaning you can actually machine overhead with the machine. Then gravity becomes your friend, not your foe. The swarf falls straight away from the, the chips, from the uh, workpiece and the tool into the conveyor and out of the machine. Mm -hmm. And the first thing, I, the second thing rather, the programming. If I'm using the CAM system, how, how easy is this to use with a CAM system? Are they intelligent enough to know? Yeah, very, very easy. Uh, with the right post processors, uh, the right programming techniques, the machines, infinitely controllable basically with the CAM system. Other things, so if we take the clothes off this machine tool, what, what are we going to see? What is the construction? Yeah, oversized components, larger rails, larger ball screws, uh, bigger bearings, uh, a very, very stiff, stable machine, uh, and rigid and very, very good at dampening as well, dampening effects. Yeah, and, and actual, the, where the machine takes space, that's very fast, it's very dynamic. So is that linear? Uh, on the A and B axis, we have torque motors to give the full five axis simultaneous movements. And then your X, Y and Z axis ball screws to give you power with machining as well. And the control, this one has got your Grob Pilot on, but what is Grob Pilot and what else do you offer? Grob for Pilot is our take on a uh, front end of the machine. Uh, very flexible for the user. You can adapt that for cam systems within the uh, software, within the screens, additional cameras within the screen, help documents, all available to put onto the single screen flexible for the user and easy to manage the workpiece basically. And now back to the machining process itself, you guys do something called you know, almost tunnel machining. Just explain what that is. Yeah, we've got a function, it's G-back tunnel. So we can have the largest workpiece diameter and the longest tool and there's no interference between the two. So we, when we go G-back tunnel, the tool retracts in the Z-axis all the way back uh, and then you've got free access to the work area, no collisions. So if, I, if I'm not mistaken, this can take roughly a 600 mil component and I think you can take a 300 mil tool. So you could actually drill straight through that if yeah, you went from both sides. Correct, yeah, and we can have larger tools than that. We have to do certain blocking of tool magazines or we can go up to 500 millimeters tool and a 600 millimeter part. You know, is that an application, I guess, for the mold and die guys that are looking to uh, drill core straight through the components? The fact we can get negative angles on this machine as well. Many machine tool builders talk about this 100 degree, uh, 110 degrees. You're much more. Yeah, 230 degrees. We can get up right under the part. Uh, has some very, very big benefits in the automotive industry. We're looking at cam boring and crank boring. Mold and die when they're putting cooling channels through different molds and certain aerospace components now with big, uh, large diameters and, uh, and deep holes. We don't have a problem with either. And your spindles, they're made here in Germany by Grob. You know, what options do you have? Yeah, yeah, we can go from the full range of spindles. We can specify a machine for uh, high volume metal removal with a 30,000 spindle. Uh, and then we can go for hard metal machining with a 475 newton meter torque spindle. And then also gearbox spindles on top of that going up to 2,500 newton meters for the very, very heavy uh, machining operations. And this machine, I believe it's the entry, not entry level, it's the baby machine. You go much, much bigger. So where does the range start and where does it finish? Yeah, this is a G350. It gives you a 600 swing diameter of workpiece. We then go to the 550 with a 900 swing diameter and then up to the 750 with a 1280 swing diameter. Uh, we've also got larger machines going up to 1600 swing diameter for, for other applications as well. And should you need it, got turning functionality as well within the range? Yes, yeah, so G350, 550, 750, all available with T uh, versions, up to 1200 RPM on the table for your, for your turning operations. So if I can ask you to conclude what the four best things about this machine, why should UK engineers look to invest in Grob? Reliability, we've come from the automotive industry where the demands of reliability are number one. Um, that this machine is born from, from, from that technology. The flexibility of the machine with the full five axis movement and the machine is as rigid in any position of its work area, so a very, very rigid machine. Three, swarf evacuation is optimal, overhead machining, swarf falls into the conveyor, less heat into your tool, less heat into your workpiece, and a higher accuracy workpiece we feel. And number four, our service, we pride ourselves on our service, 
our engineers only see horizontal five axis machines. So they're factory trained, they know the machine inside and out.